Yo, what's up, man? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. I don't want to talk about this week. This whole week has sucked. Been a rough one. We're not talking about it. A uh, loaded MLB slate today, and we're off to a decent start, too. Game's already started. Right here, we're talking Sunday night baseball. Brewers, White Sox, game three of this series in Milwaukee. Let's go. Welcome to The Source. The Source. The sewers. Hey, get the sewers. All right, like I said, we're talking Sunday Night Baseball, Brewers, White Sox in Milwaukee. Chicago dropped the first two of this series facing the sweep. Uh, line open had the Brewers as pretty solid favorites. I think it was minus 128 to start, but... I checked around 9 a.m. Money was all over the Brewers, and the line had already moved from 128 up to Brewers minus 140. Check it out, though. All through the morning up through this afternoon, money stays on the Brewers, and the line keeps moving. As of 2 p.m., we're looking at Brewers minus 160 now. Damn. These books really, really, really do not like all that Milwaukee Brewers money, that's for sure. All right, real quick, before we talk baseball, let's run the numbers through the spreadsheet. So we got Brewers. White Sox, uh, Brandon Woodruff versus Lance Lynn. According to our spreadsheet, Brewers should be minus 196 favorites here. So according to our sheet, all that money's on the right side in picking the Brewers. Obviously, we all know you can't handicap an MLB game or any sport for that matter using just a spreadsheet, but it is a good tool to get us started. So first, let's talk starting pitching. Lance Lynn for Chicago against Brandon Woodruff for Milwaukee. Really tough at first glance to give either team an edge here as far as a starting pitching advantage goes. Some people are definitely going to give the edge to Brandon Woodruff just from the numbers. I mean, he leads the league in ERA with a 2-0-4. But check it out. If we look at his progression over the course of the season, Brandon Woodruff was pitching a lot better in April, May than he is now in June, July. He's not pitching bad now, but he was definitely throwing a lot better in the early half of the season. Now, Lance Lynn for the White Sox is very similar, actually started off hot, faded a little in June, but check out Lance Lynn in July. I don't have it written down. I think it's uh, his ERA in the month of July is like 142 or something. Lance Lynn seems to have found something that he had earlier in the year. He is dealing right now. Real quick, we'll take a look at um, who they've been pitching against and I mean, Woodruff's got Cubs, D-backs, Rockies, Pirates, D-backs again, Mets. It looks like Lance Lynn definitely has been pitching against tougher competition as well. So overall, I'm going to give the starting pitching edge here to Lance Lynn and the Chicago White Sox in this game. Next up, real quick, let's talk bullpen. Now, obviously, the Milwaukee Brewers have a much better bullpen than the Chicago White Sox. No one's going to argue that. But... There are some tired arms in that Milwaukee bullpen, man. You got Brent Sutter or Suter. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say his name. Uh, he's been their favorite arm out of the bullpen all gear for Milwaukee. He's got like 49 innings pitched or something. He just pitched last night. He will not be available. Miguel Sanchez pitched last night. Adrian Hauser and Brad Boxberger both threw over, yeah, it's over 20 pitches on Friday night too. So there's a good chance both of them will not be available as well. And, oh yeah, and Hunter Strickland pitched on Friday night also. He only threw like 14 or 16 pitches though. So I'd say Hunter Strickland is probably available. But the overall point here is this Milwaukee bullpen, which is usually very good, it's limited tonight. As far as bats, I mean, White Sox, like we said earlier, dropped the first two games of this series, two losses. They scored one run in each of those two losses, facing a sweep with their guy Lance Lynn on the mound. I think the Chicago White Sox bats come out to play tonight, which is why I'm snagging up all that plus money. I'm taking the White Sox. I'm fading Brandon Woodruff and riding with Fat Lance Lynn. <laughs> Give me White Sox money line at plus 140, 145, whatever you can get it at. That's what I'm doing. I'm also going to bet the White Sox first five money line. I'm going to take Lance Lynn versus Woodruff in a straight up pitching battle. Bet probably one unit on each, maybe 0.75. Let's cast these tickets. Let's have a good Sunday. Uh, VIP tickets already went out. So if you're on the VIP list, check your phones and emails. You already have it. Let's go. I'll talk to you on Twitter.